Sky Harbor has had a very active first quarter of 2024, and we expect this trend to continue right through the remainder of the year with plenty of news flow coming up over the coming months and right through to the end of the year. We've made very good headway uh, at our 8,000 meter winter drill program at our two co-flagship Russell and Moore Lake projects. We're drilling 5,000 meters at the Russell project and 3,000 meters at the Moore project, uh, host to the high grade Maverick zone. Uh, very, very pleased with what we're seeing and we are expecting results in the near term. Uh, as we work our way through that program. Uh, upon the announcement of the drill results, we are planning to recommence drilling uh, in a summer and uh, fall program, which will consist of an additional eight to 10,000 meters. It's relatively inexpensive drilling at the projects is the road accessible, there's power there, and there's an exploration camp we're staging out of. So uh, between those two main advanced stage exploration assets in our portfolio, our single largest year, individual year drill campaign of a minimum of 15,000 meters upwards of 18 to 20,000 meters, depending on drill costs, a significant amount of news and potential catalysts from that drilling through this year. Moving over to the prospect generator part of Sky Harbor's business, uh, we recently announced a program that has commenced uh, at our Preston project. We're a minority interest holder in this project. The operator, a majority interest holder in the project is a strategic partner, Arano. They've just commenced geophysical work and they're gonna follow that up with some soil sampling this summer, uh, a budget of just under $900,000 Canadian that we're participating in is a minority interest partner in the JV. Adjacent to them, our other JV partner, Azincourt, has recently commenced a 1500 meter drill program at the East Preston project. Uh, we are also participating in that as a minority interest holder in the joint venture and very excited for them to get back to work and continue advancing that project. Moving over to the Eastern side of the Athabasca Basin with our partner companies there, uh, our three uh, uh, partner companies at the Falcon, uh, South Falcon East and Hook Lake projects, uh, starting with the South Falcon East project, uh, which is uh, under option to Tisdale Clean Energy. They've just completed a first phase of drilling at this project uh, and have confirmed mineralization at the Fraser Lake Zone B deposit. Uh, this initial phase is going to be followed up with a second phase commencing shortly. Uh, very pleased with the initial findings there and looking forward to more exploration and drilling through the year. At the adjacent Falcon project, which is currently under option to North Shore, they've just completed a smaller inaugural drill program having intersected elevated radioactivity and, and strong alteration. Uh, uh, both of those uh, programs uh, assays are pending, so we'll wait to get results, uh, final results from those programs. Uh, and then just to the north, we've recently signed a official joint venture partnership uh, with uh, Valor Resources at the Hook Lake project, and we are expecting some exploration from them over the course of the year. So a lot going on with Sky Harbor, a lot of news flow that has come out, a lot more to come out over the coming months. Uh, and uh, the timing could not be better as we're seeing the uranium price continue to move higher after setting a recent low in the low 80s. Uh, very excited uh, for what the year has to bring for us and our shareholders.